was Paul Winchell going to voice him at first? Before? Yeah, there was a, a little bit of controversy on that, unfortunately. Um, Paul Winchell is very talented, but by the time we were making Tigger Movie, he was kind of an old man at this, and you know, he was still talented, but he he sounded older, you know, he sounded like a grandpa Tigger. And unfortunately, not like the Tigger character that we'd expect to hear. And we, we made it the very tough decision to use Jim Cummings, who's very talented also, instead, because he had more energy. Um, and I, I know that Paul did not love that decision. And it was, it was tough. That was a tough one. Yeah. That, yeah. That, was, that does sound to be very tough, because he was the longtime voice, you know. He was, and I did get to work with him earlier before the Tigger movie on the um, Thanksgiving special. Uh, what was Paul like to work with? Was he nice? Yes, he was very nice. He, uh, I think he loved being the voice of Tigger, you know, among other characters that he's done. Yeah, I don't know if you saw the Green Eggs and Ham cartoon, but he portrayed the guy that, that, doesn't eat green eggs and ham. And then when he tries it, he makes the same sound that Tigger makes with the <laughs> woo I think sometimes people can't help how they sound, even if they're trying to do another character. You know, they might yeah. sound the same anyway. The guy who did Winnie the Pooh for a long time before, you know, he passed away, uh, Sterling Holloway also did other characters, but he sound, they all sounded like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. And my friend Damien, who's a bigger fan of the franchise than I am, like when he saw the Green Eggs and Ham cartoon for the first time years ago, he was like, that guy sounds like Tigger. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was Tigger. Because it was, yeah. And that was really funny. And uh, 